Dear learner, I welcome you all to the MOOC on Principle of Electrical Sciences. I am Dr. Sanjay Agrawal, Associate Professor in Electrical Engineering, School of Engineering and Technology, Indira Gandhi National Open University, New Delhi. In previous session, we have discussed type of wire and cable. Then we have discussed the difference between wire and cable. And we have also discussed construction of the cable in detail and how the cable can be classified, it has already been discussed. In this particular session, we would discuss component of LT switch gear. We will also discuss different type of fuses, MCB, that is called miniature circuit breaker. Then we will discuss ELCB, that is called earth leakage circuit breaker. And MCCV, that is called molded case circuit breaker. So first of all, we are going to discuss different component of LT switch gear. So under this category, the most important uh, component that comes that is called fuse. So what is a fuse? A short piece of metal wire inserted in series with the circuit which melts when predetermined value of current flows through it and breaks the circuit is called a fuse. A fuse is connected in series with the circuit to be protected and carries the load current without overheating itself under normal condition. So here you can see in the figure that fuse is inserted in series of the load. So this fuse is connected just after the meter and then there is a switch and then load is connected. However, when abnormal condition occurs, an excessive current that is more or equal to the predetermined value for which fuse is designed flows through it. This raises the temperature of the fuse wire to the extent that it melts and opens the circuit. This protects the machines or apparatus from damage that can be caused by excessive current. Now we have to understand characteristic of the fuse. In normal condition, when current flowing through the circuit is within safe limit, the heat developed in the fuse element carrying the current is readily dissipated into the surrounding air and therefore fuse element remains at a temperature below its melting point. However, when some fault such as short circuit occurs or when the load connected in a circuit exceeds its capacity, the current exceeds the limiting value. The heat generated due to this excessive current cannot be dissipated fast enough and the fusible element gets heated, melts and breaks the circuit. Here you can note that the time for blowing out of fuse depends upon the magnitude of excessive current. Larger the current, more rapidly the fuse will blow. Now we have to understand what are the advantages of the fuse. So first advantage of fuse is the cost of this protective device is very low. Second, it requires no maintenance. It interrupts heavy current without noise or smoke. Next advantage is the smaller size of the fuse element imposes a current limiting effect under short circuit. Next advantage of fuse is the minimum time of operation can be predetermined by selecting proper material of the fuse wire. The next advantage of fuse is the inverse time current characteristic make it suitable for overcurrent protection. Now we are going to discuss the different disadvantages of the fuse. The disadvantages of fuse are first is considerable time is lost in rewiring or replacing a fuse after operation. Another disadvantage is on heavy short circuit, discrimination between fuses in series cannot be obtained unless there is a considerable difference in the relative size of the fuse concerned. Third disadvantage is the current time characteristic of fuse cannot always be correlated with that of protective device. Now we are going to discuss different type of fuses. So first type of fuse that is called 
rewirable or you can say KitKat type fuse. Here you can see in the diagram, the KitKat type of fuse basically have fuse carrier and the fuse base. The main advantage of this type of fuse is that fuse carrier is easier to remove without having any electrical shock or injury. The fuse base acts as incoming and outgoing terminal which is made of porcelain. This type of fuse is used in domestic wiring and small industries. On occurrence of the fault, the fuse element blows off and the circuit is interrupted. The fuse carrier is pulled out. The blown fuse element is replaced by new one and the supply is restored by reinserting the fuse carrier the base. The fuse wire may be of lead, tinned copper, aluminium or alloy of tin lead. The actual fusing current will be about twice the rated current. When two or more fuse wire are used, the wire should be kept apart and derating factor or 0.7 or 0.8 should be used to arrive at the total fuse rating. So next type of fuse is called cartridge type fuse. Here you can see in the figure also it has fuse element, insulating container, metallic cartridge. Cartridge type fuse is in closed type fuse unit. It essentially consists of an insulating container or bulb or tube shape and sealed at its ends with metallic cap called cartridge. Powder material known as filler. Since it is totally enclosed, it will not be possible to rewire and therefore the whole unit will have to be replaced. The third type of fuse is called high rapturing capacity fuse which is also called HRC fuse. With the very heavy generating capacity of the modern power station, extremely heavy current would flow into the fault and the fuse clearing the fault would be required to withstand extremely high stresses in the process. A rewirable fuse may not be useful in this case and therefore high rapturing capacity fuses commonly known as HRC fuses designed and developed after intensive research for use in medium and high voltage installations are used for such duties. Their rapturing capacity is as high as 50 MBA up to 66 KB and above. The main advantage of HRC fuses are they are cheaper as compared with the other type of circuit interrupts of the same breaking capacity. No maintenance is required. The operation is quick and sure. They don't deteriorate with time. They do not inverse time current characteristic. They are capable of clearing high as well as low current. They are quite reliable and can be selected for proper discrimination. HRC fuses suffer from following disadvantages. They are required to be replaced after each operation. Interlocking is not possible. They lack relays in complete discrimination. On the occurrence of the fault, short circuit current flows through the fuse element and the element is thus heated up up to its melting point. When the melting process is completed, an arc is formed. The chemical reaction between silver vapor and filling powder tends to establish high resistance. The high resistance acts as an insulator because the fault current decreases along with high pressure created within the fuse by the fault. Now we are going to discuss switch fuse unit. As per Indian Electricity Rule 50, a suitable linked switch that is switch operating simultaneously on phase or line and neutral wire is to be provided immediately after the meter board. Suitable cutout must also be provided in the linked switch to protect the circuit against excessive current. The combined linked switch and the fuse unit is called switch fuse unit which is also known as iron clad switch. It may be double pole for controlling single phase two wire circuit. 
इट मे बी ट्रिपल पोल फॉर थ्री फेज थ्री वायर सर्किट इट मे बी द ट्रिपल पोल विद न्यूट्रल वायर लिंक फॉर थ्री फेज फोर वायर सर्किट दीज रिस्पेक्टिव स्विचेज आर कॉल्ड डबल पोल्ड आयरन क्लेड आयरन क्लेट दैट इज कॉल्ड डी पी आई सी ट्रिपल पोल आयरन क्ले आयरन क्लेट दैट इज कॉल्ड टी पी आई सी एंड ट्रिपल पोल विद न्यूट्रल लिंक आयरन क्लेट इट इज कॉल्ड आई पी एन आई सी स्विचेस नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस मिनीचर सर्किट ब्रेकर दैट इज कॉल्ड एम सी वी इट इज वेरी फेमिलियर टू यू आ एम सी वी इज एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक डिवाइस दैट automatically operates the circuit if the current in the circuit reaches to a predetermined value it can replace conventional rewirable fuse in distribution board and are designed to operate accurately under the both overloading and short circuit condition here you can see the photograph of this mcb and the second figure here you can see the internal construction of the mcb which have incoming terminal and outgoing terminal where you can see which have trip lever outer frame solenoid operating switches air shoot holder and arc shoot and it has fixed and movable contact also now we are going to discuss the construction of the mcv so first point which is outer body or housing the outer body or housing of mcb is mold, molded from a special grade glass fiber reinforced polyester with help of an injection molding machine the outer body and the other polyester component of mcb are fire retardant anti tracking and non hygroscopic this polyester part and housing have the ability to be distant high temperature and mechanical impact the next uh, part of uh, that mcv that can be discussed are the contact the contacts of an mcv are made of pure silver this provides definite advantages such as long contact life low contact resistance ensures quick arc removal and low heat generation third point that we are going to discuss that is operating mechanism the operating mechanism of mcv provide with the manual operation for closing and opening opening operation of the mcv it has three position on off and tripped by observing the position of the switching latch one can determine the condition of the mcv whether it is closed tripped or manually switched off if the mcv is tripped due to over current or overheating the external switching latch in the tripped position when manually switch off the miniature circuit breaker the switching latch will be in off position switch is position at on in closed condition of mcv next point that we are going to discuss in mcv that is called arc quenching chamber the arc produced during the breaking of circuit is quenched abruptly by providing a special arc chamber next uh, part of mcb that is called fixing arrangement the mcb mounting clip gets easily snapped on to the din bar and can be removed easily by a simple operation with a screw driver this saves the time that would have been required for fixing it with screws next part of the mcb is mechanical interlocking of multiple mcb the levers of all multiple mcb are connected internally this ensures simultaneous tripping of all poles even if the fault develops in any one of the phases now we are going to discuss working principle of mcb there is a two arrangement of operation of mcb one due to the thermal effect of over current and other due to the electromagnetic effect of over current the thermal operation of mcb is achieved with a bimetallic strip whenever continuous over current flows through mcb the bimetallic strip is heated and deflects by bending this deflection of bimetallic strip releases a mechanical latch as the mechanical latch is attached to the operating mechanism 
it causes to open the mcb contact but during the short circuit condition the sudden rising of current causes the electromechanical displacement of plunger associated with tripping coil or solenoid of mcb the plunger strikes the trip lever causing the immediate release of latch mechanism consequently open the circuit breaker contacts now we are going to discuss the advantages of the mcb with the miniature circuit breaker it is very simple to resume the supply you just need to push the knob of mcb back to on position but in case of fuse the entire fuse wire needs to be replaced second advantage is what mcb is more sensitive to current than fuse it detects any abnormality in the current flow and automatically switches off the electric circuit third advantage is mcb is reusable and hence has less maintenance and replacement cost whereas fuse needs to be replaced whenever it goes faulty next advantage of mcb is in case of mcb the faulty zones of the electric circuit can be easily identified now we are going to discuss earth leakage circuit breaker generally it is called elcb here you can see in the figure also it is a device that provides protect protection against earth leakage they are of two types first one is what current operated earth leakage circuit breaker and second one is voltage operated earth leakage circuit breaker in case of current operated earth leakage circuit breaker current operated elcb used when product of operating current and earth loop impedance does not exceed 40 ohm in normal condition when there is no earth leakage the algebraic sum of three phase current flows through trip coil is zero in case of any earth leakage the current is unbalanced and trip coil is energized and circuit breaker is tripped next that elcb we are going to discuss that is called voltage operate earth leakage circuit breaker it is suitable for use when earth loop impedance exceed the value applicable to the fuses or excess current circuit breaker or current operated earth leakage circuit breaker when voltage between the earth continuity conductor an earth electrode rises to the sufficient time the trip coil will carry the required current and it will trip the circuit next uh, type of circuit breaker that we are going to discuss that is called molded case circuit breaker which is also called mccb mccb is a type of electrical protection device that can be used for wide range of voltage and frequencies of both 50 hertz and 60 hertz the wide range of current rating from mccb allows them to be used in wide variety of applications mccb are with current rating that ranges from low value such as 15 ampere to industrial rating such as 2500 ampere this allows them to be used in both low power and high power applications as with most type of circuit breaker an mccb has three main functions first one is what protection against overload current above the rated value that last than what is normal for the application second function is what protection against electrical fault this is a this is a less common function of circuit breaker but they can be used for that purpose if there is not an adequate manual switches third function is what switching a circuit on and off this is a less common function of circuit breaker but they can be used for that purpose if there is not any adequate manual switch dear learner in today's session we have discussed component of lt switch gear we have also discussed different type of fuses then we discussed miniature circuit breaker that is called mcb then we discussed earth leakage circuit breaker and under earth leakage circuit breaker 
we have discussed current operated elcb then voltage operated vlcc and in the last we have discussed molded case circuit breaker and how this circuit breaker can be used hope you are able to learn all the concept dear learner in the next session we would discuss type of batteries and important characteristic for the batteries and we will also discuss about the electrical shock and then we will discuss the what is the importance of the earthing and how earthing can be done thank you very much